right, guys, we back again. Got another car on the bench for you today. This one's been around a little while. I've seen some good things about it and some bad things. You know, every, every RC has its pros and cons, but we're going to get into why I pulled the trigger on this one. Besides this price tag, which is really great, by the way. You can check this thing out on Amazon. It's under $200. Well worth it. Anyway, this is the Rilalo AMD 12. This is a 112 scale desert buggy. Loaded with a lot of features. We're going to get into some of that right now. If you've ever driven a Rilalo, y'all seen all the videos about what this radio is about. It's a four channel radio, you know, so you can get do some other things with it with this car because this car comes just gonna show you under the hood real quick comes with an independent receiver this is not a receiver and esc combo the esc and receiver are separate receiver right here esc right there and it's brushless roll cage in and inside you know it's coming standard you know how we how they do them as things change, companies, if they paying attention to their audience, they make changes. And this thing is, this thing is nice. It's, it's got some nice little different things about it. That hinged front bumper, I thought that was cool. It's something different, you know what I'm saying? And believe it or not, this battery, I haven't seen it fly out with anybody that's driven it. This car's been around for a minute. This is an Amazon acquisition. Look a little closer under the hood. It's something I did want to mention. You know what I'm saying? It's the upgrade. See, this is an adjustable motor mount, man. So you can work with the gear in a little bit. It does have, um, you know what I'm saying? Only, only single gearing options. You can do some different things with the gearing. Yes, it does look like a laser nut. Absolutely. I 100% agree with anybody and everybody that says. This is a laser nut knockoff clone. It is what it is. You know how they do. It's got uh, threaded body aluminum shocks. It's got an aluminum chassis. Hex hardware throughout. Tires are hard rubber. Hard rubber, but they seem like they got some nice grip to them. I bet they won't balloon much when you're trying to run it on speed or whatever. I'm sure that's gonna give it some handling. Yes, it has sway bars, front and rear. I mean, it's nice, man. I mean, if you just gotta see the transmitter. <laughs> Came with some extra hex nuts. This is, you know, this is the standard transmitter, man. Like I said, full channel, these two buttons up here are live. They're live buttons, cause they clicking. So they do something. You know, I don't know what they do because this only has so much. Yeah, it comes with a light bar. This light bar is live. Those little bezels don't do nothing. It's got a nice scale look, man. This one's got the little man inside. Got a little detail to the inside. So if you wanted to get in here with your paint and, and make it a little bit more detailed, you can break it down because it's got screws holding in all the panels all around. Came with a... Uh, tool to put this tire on the back. The tire won't be on the back when you get it. So you have to put the tire on yourself. You know, it's got steel axles, drive axles. Look like they made some, uh, you know, upgrades to it. Hope so, because I think if this is compatible with the um, Omni Terminator, which is the one everybody talking about right now, that's the latest release from Rilalo. Uh, but I think they, no, that ain't the latest. At the time of this video, they're coming out with a crawler. Getting back to this guy here, I think we've talked enough about the features. It's time to get out here and see how this thing performs 
on 2S and on 3S. Let's go get some speed runs in. We gotta make sure we zeroed out. Turn it on. Yeah, we zeroed out, guys. Hopefully this Velcro strap works. As you can see, it comes with a light kit. You can check out the lights on there. It comes with a light kit. It's a nice little vehicle. Amazon acquisition. Not expensive. Definitely under two hundred dollars. It's in, it's some you know in competition with all the rest of the vehicles in this class that that are out there right now. MJX, you know, wholesome companies like that. It's in direct competition with those guys, so you can't be <laughs> too much more. I know the Terminator. I'm the Terminator is a little expensive. They say this thing is pretty fast. Even on 2S, guys. Might be a little windy. Got good range. Just gonna see how fast this thing is. A scream, ain't it? And it handles well. I like that it handles well. You can do speed runs with this thing pretty easy, man. It ain't all over the place. Yeah, it's not all over the place. That's nice. I hope I'm at 100%, right? A good couple of times up and down. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, guys. Seven miles an hour on 2S. Ain't too bad. All right, guys, that was 2S. This is 3S. That's 3S. 3S is nice as well, huh? Gotta beat that 37.9, though. Say we beating that 37.9 a couple times. See what our max gonna be. Still it's handling real good, guys. Still handling good on 3S. This thing is a true screamer, fellas. Gotta get you one of these. Desert buggies from Malalo. Got to get you one. Got to get you one. Man. <laughs> yeah, this put a smile on your face. Uh oh. Dang. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Well, y'all gonna have to stay with me for this walk. Just when the battery start heating up too. So got that Willie. Got that Willie. Man, I can't turn it off though, cause 
turn it off. We won't know what the max speed is. So I got to keep it on. I got my name getting ready to come down the block. I guess we're gonna have to look at the max speeds, you guys. We're gonna have to look. It's worth it. Get one more screen. Saw that, almost got crunched. Yeah, we gonna get a good max speed now. Pretty nice. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. That 3S. Shame. I'm glad y'all was patient with me because this is going unedited. I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to put it out there. Look at it. Popping willies and stuff. This battery is gassed up now. The tires is gripping. They got some heat up. All right, guys. 51.6. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's cool outside. <laughs> but this is my temperature on my motor. With just the heat sink. Obviously, the ESC is cool. Show you what I was running. I had to put this little block in there to keep it, you know, stable. And this is what I was running. Nice little battery. My bashing, Gen Zakes bashing. It's just a 35C. It fit well once I put this little block in here. You know, you get one of these if you got a little cheap quad, or I don't know. I, I got cheap quads, so that's why I gotta say that. 75 degrees. There we go, the heat coming out of it now from the motor. It's going into the heat sink. So the heat sink is at 90. That's good though. 98 degrees. We're directly on the motor. 85. 81 at the back. 85 at the front. 86. Very nice. Very nice. But that was nice, right? Too much time babbling on about that. All we wanted to do was get that quick speed run. It made my stampede look bad because it handled like a dream all the way out to 51.6. Very stable, very, very, very nice drive. Very nice drive, guys. This thing, this thing is impressive, man on the little dirt tracks or whatever, I'm sure you're gonna get a kick out of this thing, but I just wanted to get a, you know, a shakedown of it, you know, top speed on 2S and 3S. I like it. 
It's a keeper. It's TKS Hobby saying, if you ain't crashing, you ain't bashing. I might have to change my motto because we ain't do no crashing this time. We had a couple of tumbles, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, you guys be safe, be blessed. Signing out. Peace.